and welcome. I am Trish and this is Trish Talks. And on this channel, I offer up tips on interior design, DIY home renovation projects, and gardening. And on today's video, I'll be offering up six tips on what's in and what's out in interior design. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get started. What's out? Number one, vessel sinks. Vessel sinks are sinks that sit on top of the vanity. They were extremely popular in the early 2000s. The problems came when people installed them incorrectly. They were installed on top of standard height vanities instead of on lower vanities. So now the, the vessel sink was high and it made it uncomfortable for people to use. In addition, the faucets that were installed were too short and positioned too close to the edge of the sink, which made uh, water just splash everywhere and really just not very functional. As a result, people don't see vessel sinks as very efficient or functional. So it's reduced its popularity. What's in all-in-one sinks, where the counter and the sink are molded all-in-one, or undermount sinks, where the sink is installed under the counter. And note, these are two timeless options. What's out number two? Soffit. A kitchen soffit is usually a boxy structure built above the kitchen cabinets. Sometimes they hide wiring, pipes, or even ductwork. But a lot of times they don't have anything in them. They were simply built to fill in the dead space above the kitchen cabinets. So do yourself a favor. If you're remodeling your kitchen today, reserve a small part of your budget to remove these soffits. Kitchen soffits will give even a new kitchen a dated look. What's out? Number three, short kitchen cabinets. So now that you have removed the soffit, try not to buy short kitchen cabinets. And I'm talking about the upper cabinets. These cabinets are typically 30 to 32 inches tall. If you have eight to nine foot ceilings, you should be looking at taller upper cabinets that are roughly 42 to 54 inches tall. If you have 10 foot ceilings, you can install a slightly taller cabinet and a short cabinet on top of that. So what's in taller kitchen cabinets that make the kitchen appear bigger and add additional storage. And while this look is on trend, it is also timeless. What's out number four? Rose gold and blush interiors. I recently watched a design show where they constructed a blush colored basement. And I mean, it was absolutely beautiful, but I, I cringed um, when I saw it because I knew it was dated uh, the minute it was done. And that was unfortunate. Here's, here's the thing, blush interiors are so taste specific that it, it was always going to be difficult for that trend to carry a broad appeal for an extended period of time. I mean, just, you know, frankly stated, not everyone likes blush, right? And so if you are designing to sell or if you are designing for the masses, you really want to stay away from something that is so trendy. What's in are warm neutrals and earth tone interiors, and they're timeless. What's out? Number five, faux plants. Faux plants were acceptable for a very long time because we were so incredibly busy. We were out of our homes uh, more than we were inside. And what we were trying to avoid is coming back home to a house full of dead plants. Well, that has changed a little bit. So real plants are back in. One of the problems is some of the faux plants just look really cheap, but even the very expensive ones, the greater problem becomes people forget to dust their faux plants. 
and now your home's interior just looked dusty and dirty and somewhat disappointing, if that makes sense. What's in are real plants and they are timeless. And if you're weary about whether you can take care of real plants, check out my video on the five easiest plants to care for in your home. What's out? Number six, sliding barn doors. Sliding barn doors, you know them when you see them. They are doors hung on a sliding track at the very top and the door slides to the side of the opening. They became very popular during the farmhouse chic craze. Although the look of the sliding barn door has become somewhat dated, for me they continue to work if they are installed for functional purposes. Meaning you need to use them because a regular pivot door will swing out into a corridor or hit the furniture in the space. And so that becomes a, a necessary or a more functional use of the barn door. But if the door swing is not an issue, like here in this bathroom, avoid installing a sliding barn door. The trend is over. What's in? Pocket doors. They serve the same purpose and they're timeless. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.